First, I want to uh, thank the staff of St. John Newman Parish because they bought this vestment for myself and for the parish. It's beautiful, and it's on the back. It has the three kings. A beautiful gift to myself and to our parish. A good year for this gift because it is in this year of 2020 that we need to remember, perhaps in an even deeper way, the gift of the Lord Jesus Christ into our world. The gift of God himself who came down to live among us and came down for each and every one of us. I have, sitting back here, different steins. This stein has a bunch of birds on it. Very nice. I honestly don't remember where I got that stein. This stein is a NASCAR stein. It has a nice little car on the top. All kinds of different cars all around it. This stein, you're probably wondering how many I have back here. This stein is a fireman's stein. It has a little bell. Father Arena actually gave this to me last year. I don't know whether he felt I needed to put out fires or not, but that's the one that he gave me last year. This is a very interesting one. It actually has the Last Supper on it. So the Last Supper engraved on the stein. And then there's one last stein which you may have seen before because I showed it on a video, and that's the one with Santa Claus on it. And it's big and can hold a lot. You know, there's all different kinds of steins. There's all kinds of glasses. And they all look a little bit different kind of like us. There's all kinds of different people. We all look a little different. We all act a little different. We all live our lives a little different. But what connects us is that we're all children of God. What connects us is that God wants to live deep within each and every one of us. You know, all these steins can put anything in it. Now, we know, if we're older, what a stein's supposed to have in it. <laughs> but you can put water. You can put soda. You can put lemonade, iced tea. I showed this one on a video, if you happen to see it in the newsletter and said that the young kids in our school said that I could fill it with milk. And I said, yes, you can fill this with milk. It'll hold a lot of milk. <laughs> there are many different things that we can fill this body with. Just like we can fill this body with Coke or Pepsi, lemonade, iced tea, water, milk, tea, coffee. Just as we can pour many drinks into different containers and then pour them in ourselves, we can choose what we're going to take in. And the chief thing that we're called to remember to take in today is the Lord Jesus Christ. To consciously drink Him in each day. It's a good opportunity to ask ourselves, what do I fill this body with? What do I look like? What do I listen to? What do I talk about? No matter how young or old we are. If we're young, how do I treat my classmates? If I'm a little older, how do I treat the people I work with, my family? What do we take into this body? You know, we can fill a glass, a stein, with many different things. And it all tastes a little bit different. And it all has a little different effect on us. What we choose to take into this body tastes a little different. 
and has a different effect on us. So why not this night choose to drink in the Lord Jesus Christ, to take him in each and every day? We heard in the first reading, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. Perhaps in this year, we felt like we've been walking in darkness. Tonight is the night we remember that the light comes into our lives and the light wants to be with us in the midst of whatever darkness we might be feeling. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. That's why we gather tonight, either here in church or by stream. Because we want to rejoice with the Lord. We want to experience His joy. The yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed. That's what Jesus came into our world to do, to smash all those things that lead us away from Him. And to say to us, take me in. Allow me to be what you put in your body. Allow me to make a difference. For a child is born to us, and they call him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace, Wonder Counselor. I wonder how often we go to the Lord for counsel. We often go when we're in trouble and it's at the end. We're not sure what else to do. But when we choose to take the Lord in, not just at Christmas, but every day, that He can be our counselor, God hero. I wonder what heroes we have. So many times they're sports figures or actors or actresses. What if we looked at Jesus as our hero? That's weird. <laughs> Is it weird? To see Jesus as our hero? as the one who shows us how to live. Father forever. We have our earthly father, but God is our father forever. Forever. Our earthly father is our father forever, but God is our father forever. And prince of peace. In this time, we need God's peace. And it's when we choose to fill this vessel, this cup, this stein with Jesus that he can truly be our Prince of Peace. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord, we heard in the psalm. But the Lord wasn't just born today. He wants to be born within us every day. Second reading said, The grace of God has appeared training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires. That's what happens if we take the Lord in. We reject godless ways, worldly desires, and then we live temperately, justly, and devoutly. Again, no matter how old we are. You know, in the past, this would have been the children's mass. But it is the children's mass because we're all God's children. And no matter how old we are, when we choose to take him in, then he can give us the grace and the strength to reject godless ways and worldly desires. Then in the gospel, she gave birth in a manger, a manger that is used to feed animals. What did the Lord Jesus Christ do? He came, and what did he do at the end of his life? He left us himself to feed on so that we can take him in, his body and his blood, inside of ourselves. So perhaps it wasn't just coincidence that he was laid in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace on whom all his favor rests. His favor rests on each and every one of us. I have five steins here, and there's many different glasses, many different things we can drink out of. Just like there's many different people, and we're not all alike, thank goodness. But each and every one of us 
have one thing in common, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ came into this world to be our Savior, and he wants to dwell within us. And we can choose to fill our glasses with whatever we want. And some of that stuff's good for us, and some of it isn't. But when we choose to fill this vessel with the Lord Jesus Christ each and every day, then no matter what's happening, no matter how crazy life can get, we will remember that today is born a Savior. He is Christ the Lord, and he wants to be born within us every day. Every day.